I want to take you up on the word quantum, uh, come back to the uh, Fosidas revolution. For some people, quantum is still something in the future. For some, it's already reality. Where do you stand in terms of... I you know, we, we've had a research program in quantum. In fact, in the last year, there have been some real breakthroughs because we've had a, an approach to quantum where we are trying to not just achieve quantum supremacy, but, uh, you know, to be able to build a general-purpose quantum computer, you need to have sufficient number of stable qubits. And so the approach we have taken is that approach where can we build a general-purpose quantum computer? And, uh, you know, we have sort of published results on some of the breakthroughs in the last year. So I do think it's still, you know, a ways away, it's not here today, but I think the interesting thing is the software stack that needs to be built for quantum is getting built actively. In fact, if anything, the entire, the fact that you can simulate uh, quantum algorithms on classical is one place where we can, in fact, already start benefiting. Uh, but let's face it, I mean, there's, uh, you know, lots of things uh, that are happening that are rapidly moving, whether it's about uh, on the encryption side or how do you, in the post-quantum world, protect yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and so these are all fields that are actively both being researched as well as being deployed. 